Scientists say that rising temperatures are warming the polar regions faster than anywhere else on the planet. It's predicted that shrinking Arctic sea ice will push polar bears and ringed seals towards extinction. And it's devastating news for the native Inuit people in particular. Their entire way of life depends on this delicate world. Fergal Keane and cameraman Darren Conway have gone to the high Arctic, 400 miles of the north of the Arctic Circle, to stay with the Inuit people of Pond Inlet. The Inuits live in an environment where temperatures can drop to minus 40, but it's warming. Here's that special report. A sound to call the hunters echoes across the great silence. The huskies are being set in their traces by Jaco Petrolusi, one of the oldest hunters in Pond Inlet. His neighbor, 18-year-old George Cunnock, will also hunt with us today. When you come out here and you learn from the elders, how important is that to you? It's very important, so I could pass it down to my kids and my grandkids. It's going to go down to generations and generations. The weather here is phenomenally cold, but the conditions are crisp and clear. Absolutely perfect conditions for hunting, something which is at the very heart of the Inuit culture, their whole way of life. It's hard to believe as we travel across the ice that this frozen wilderness could be threatened. But scientists say Arctic ice has been thinning steadily by 40% in the last two decades. On the way, we stop at an iceberg. The hunters collect ice to melt for drinking water. To the Inuit, this frozen world supplies all the necessities of survival. They waste nothing. We arranged to meet another of the local Inuit out on the ice. David Kunu is a wildlife ranger, and he's angry with the people of the industrialized world. When I go to the cities, there's lots of cars, lots of planes, and lots of people. Um, and I start feeling angry, and they're pollu polluting the earth, and I feel that something should be done. With winter temperatures that can plunge to minus 50, shelter is vital. Modernity is here in the shape of tents. For these Inuit, the vanishing of this world seems almost impossible to contemplate. When I was a child, the elders foretold that the North would be summer all year, says Jacob. Our grandchildren and great-grandchildren will see only summer, not winter. It is hard to imagine a world so old, so enduring, succumbing to climate change. But science is warning that it will. Twilight may be coming to the lands of ice. Fergal Keane, BBC News, in the Canadian Arctic.